Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, will they initiate contact? And we have five Lenormand decks here, deck one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and make your selection. The timestamps are in the description box below. The period that we're looking at is over this festive season that's ahead of us. For those of you who are looking at this reading at another point, uh, because this reading is timeless, so you can return to it whenever you'd like, the, the time frame we're looking at is three to four weeks. So will they initiate contact in the next three to four weeks, ideally? Go ahead and make your selection and then go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck, the question we're asking is, will they initiate contact? So I see this as a yes. I feel that um, there is a, uh, a good chance that they will um, initiate contact. I do feel that um, those of you who are a woman in this situation, that they are thinking about you. Um, if you are, this is not just, it doesn't just apply to love situations, but to any given situation. So you might be asking about whether it is a work, um, whether you, if you've been to a job interview and you're wondering if the, the way you've been to, uh, if the interviewer is going to um, initiate contact, yes, they are. And yes, there's uh, some good news coming your way. Um, it feels like they are drumming up the um, the courage or the, the energy to be able to initiate this um, good times and uh, and make the contact so that's a very big yes yeah and uh, I feel that um, this would be done at some kind of party or um, like it might be that um, you they don't contact you like they don't send you a private message or something but they come up to you when they meet you at an event and they speak to you um, and this and it goes all very well and it makes you both quite happy and that is the key to something that comes uh, a little later on. Um, yeah, these are just positive cards. I see it happening. And the answer for you is yes, they will initiate contact and uh, they will come up. Um, yeah, I do see that they, they will do it more likely to like in a context of other people, not necessarily uh, just uh, as a private message. Although in some cases it might be that they see you in the context of other people, like at a party or at an event, and they feel that it's time for them to actually uh, initiate the contact, and then they do. All right, so thank you for those of you who've chosen um, this, um, the first deck here, and uh, we're moving on to the next one. For those of you who've chosen this particular deck here, as you know, the question we're asking is, will they initiate contact? Let's see if they will. So here I'm I'm not sure if they will actually initiate contact. It's like they want to. It's like they're heading in that direction. But this is more of a maybe. Uh, there's an attraction here and they want to meet you. But I feel that um, they're feeling like it's a bit premature to initiate the action or that they feel a little bit shy uh, when they want to initiate the, the, the action. They want to initiate the contact. It's like they they are afraid to do so. They feel a bit, um, they feel like it's, they, they feel foolish, actually. They feel as if you will look at them foolishly, but they are attracted to you and they do want to meet you. But I don't see them actually taking an action here to, to do so. So let's just see if they will take some kind of action in the future. Even if they do not initiate the contact, perhaps they take some kind of action towards you. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and ask.
Well, look, they're certainly thinking about this. They're certainly thinking about some kind of um, action that they'd like to take towards you. But I don't see them doing so right now. I see them really contemplating it and really wondering whether they should or how they would go about it, uh, fantasizing about it, playing playing it out in their minds, um, wondering what it would be like to meet you again, feeling that attraction, uh, being excited about that. But I don't see them initiating the contact in this particular reading. But what I do think is that they are certainly interested uh, in doing so. And uh, it remains to be seen of wh uh, whether they will contact you. Within the next few weeks, there is a chance that they would contact you, but it's not a certainty. Okay. Um, so that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, the second option here. For those of you who've chosen um, this option here, the question we're asking is, uh, will they initiate contact? Will they initiate contact? So here I want to say the answer is no. Um, what I see them doing is that they are sitting in a space, in a protected space, where they cannot be seen, and they are hiding their emotions. They are not allowing themselves to be seen. They're hiding uh, whatever they, it is that they feel for you. And I feel that they're going to be moving away from it or trying to move away for it, from it. It might also mean that they actually are traveling, over the next few weeks um, and so they won't be able to contact you uh, but they're using if they are not contacting you because they're traveling they're using that as an excuse to hide away they're using that as an excuse not to be a part not to be there okay but otherwise I feel like they're locked inside of themselves and they are keeping their feelings to themselves here and um, yeah they're keeping their feelings to themselves they're not willing to come out of the that and they are not willing to show you what it is that they feel so they they are not willing to acknowledge the feelings that they have to you they're not willing to give you anything they are keeping this for themselves and they're being um, dishonest about it in the process by not talking about it or by pretending that they don't have something for you they are being dishonest in, in the meantime and I feel that they're going to try to make an effort to move away or to work against this uh, connection that you have or work against this. If this is not a love situation, if this is a work situation, it's like um, they've made a decision about you and um, there might be gossip or some kind of enmity that you have in your workplace. And um, uh, um, they may be moving away from you or they may be moving uh, more towards this um, towards more of this gossip, more of this closedness, most of this, more of this cliquey kind of business that's going on there. If you're asking about uh, a personal situation, uh, wondering whether somebody's going to come back to you, I feel that uh, they, no, they're not, they aren't, well, if they're going to contact you and initiate contact, you're upset with a, with a family member or a friend or something, no, they, they're just going to wait and see if you're gonna, going to come and Get them out of their home get them out of that situation they're going to see whether you're going to make the effort to do so they want to see you do that um they're not they're not wanting to make the effort they want to see you make the effort in that scenario and if it's a love relationship well i feel that they're not expecting you to make any effort although they would be um amused if you did and um it's more like they are trying to avoid this for some reason they need to avoid the situation they don't feel very comfortable with it and um, they feel like, um, you know, they feel like they need to be um, dishonest about it. Maybe um, they are lying about it. Maybe if they contacted you, it would be an inappropriate behavior. Or maybe if they contacted you, it would be uh, a clandestine kind of uh, contact that you would have. And therefore, they are avoiding that. Okay, so that's it for those of you who have chosen this one. For those of you who have chosen this particular deck here, we are asking the question, will they, will they initiate contact?
Okay, so here what we have is a secret attraction and uh, which is sort of hurting them. It's not actually working to their benefit. Um, it's really hurting them. And I don't believe that there will be contact here either. I think it's more likely that they will keep this a secret. They'll keep this attraction a secret, even though it's going to hurt them. Even though it's it's almost as if they're lusting after you. They really want to have something with you. And they, yeah, they're truly lusting after you. And and But they can't have it. They can't have you for whatever reason. This is not because somebody's stopping them. This is not because you don't want to have this with them. This is not because you've had a fight and broken up or something like this. That is not the reason, even if that has happened. This is because they don't want to, you to know, or they don't want to know, you to know that you, they, they attracted to you at this level where it actually hurts them to not come forward and be with you. Um, so I don't believe that they will initiate the contact here because they they are, their lusting after you really hurts them and it would just exacerbate that. And therefore they would like to keep it a secret. It's as if they, um, yeah, they, I just want to see whether they're going to take some kind of action in the future or whether they will uh, connect with you in, in the future, okay? Because this is a very, um, there's a very, uh, there's a lot of passion here. And there's a lot of uh, deep feelings in this one. So um, I just want to know what actually is going to happen. Are they going to take any action whatsoever towards this person? Look, they're going to be loyal to you. They're going to actually uh, nurture and feed this attraction that they have. They're not giving it up. Uh, this is something that they enjoy, actually. And they enjoy, I feel like they enjoy it and they wish that it wouldn't be a secret. But it's not something that they can actually uh, move ahead with for whatever reason. For some reason, they're not really able to uh, to make the contact. They, they, they're they not in a position where they can make the contact. But they have this attraction and it eats them away. It kind of hurts them. It doesn't eat, uh, exactly eat them away. It's more like it, it really, it's really hard for them. It, it really punishes them. You know, that's the word. Whenever I see this card, I think punishment. It's kind of punishment. It's like something that they're constantly reminded of and that really hurts them. It really hurts them at the core. Um, it It's an enjoyable, it's like a, uh, like an enjoyable pain that they have here in this situation with these cards together. It's like they, they have this attraction and it it's a secret attraction. They're not able to talk about it. They're not able to come forward. They're not able to contact you for whatever reason. Perhaps it's not allowed. Perhaps they, they aren't able to because I know I've said this a mil million times in my readings, but perhaps they're your boss or perhaps um, they're your lecturer or perhaps uh, they are uh, uh, um, like... Um, related to you in some way where it would not be appropriate for them to come forward and so they have this attraction they're happy to nurture it and, and they will be loyal to it they're not going to give this up they're not going to stop thinking about you uh, they're going to keep it a secret and uh, they're going to allow it to kind of punish them but somehow they sort of um, enjoying enjoying this, this scenario where it hurts them to have this attraction but the attraction is sweet it's like this bittersweet feeling that i'm getting here and so yeah this is one of those scenarios i don't believe this person is going to be making any contact although they would like to they may just let it be that they'll allow you to bump into each other or they look forward to seeing you again uh in whichever context that you get to see each other and for those of you who've chosen the final deck here the question we are still asking is will they initiate contact So I'm just going to turn that around because I don't read reversals. So what I see here is that um, I want to say that they will initiate contact. Okay, what I see is that there is a love here, there is a, an affection, there is a fondness, um, but they aren't sure. They are unsure of whether there needs to be something more. They are unsure of whether they ought to commit to a meeting. They are unsure of whether they need to make the commitment of initiating a response or 
or reply. Uh, they're unsure of whether they should reach out to you. And there's uncertainty as a result of their doubt. And so um, I feel that um, there is there is this fondness there, though. There's this warm feeling. There's this warm, fuzzy feeling that they have. Uh, they would like to connect. And um, if this is a work scenario, it's like they like you. They really like you, but they're unsure if you're a perfect fit. But they will go ahead and offer you the job anyway, if that's what you're asking about. Or they'll go ahead and give you that contract. Or they'll go ahead and uh, and let you let you be in charge of that project or something to that effect. Okay, uh, but there's uncertainty about that and about that relationship and about performance, perhaps, or they unsure on some on some level. Perhaps it's because um, you they don't they unsure of your capacity because you're very young. Uh, for instance, that's one of the scenarios I'm getting here. The other scenario is that um, this person is longing to be with you and they are confused about whether they will be happy to be with you, whether they can actually be committed to you or whether commitment is actually the right decision because this is a big thing for them. You know, they are unsure of whether they should come ahead or, or um, act on it. And they recognize that the next connection or the next contact that they will have with you, that if they initiate it, it has to go the whole way. It has to go the whole way. And this is the reason that they are delaying and they are um, they are not contacting you immediately. I think that this signals that they will be contact. But I wouldn't say that it is, um, and the beginning of the reading, I said at the beginning in the intro, I said that this is over the next few weeks. Um, but I believe that there will be contact here, but this is not going to be within the next few weeks. Not necessarily. It could be in some of your lucky cases. Um, but in most cases, it's going to be after the holidays or uh, if you're watching this at another point uh, in the future, it's going to be a few weeks down the line. Or a few months down the line in some of your cases because this confusion is very real and that's a central point that they are um, uh, consumed with at this moment this is what clouds their vision and so they're not really able to move forth and, and make this commitment to uh, or initiate this contact they are still in doubt and that is as it is at this moment even though they want this even though they have these feelings here so there is a chance, uh, a good chance, I want to say this is a yes, but it's a yes for the future, that they will actually contact you. They, because they can't get rid of this feeling that they have here. This feeling and, and that willingness to co commit, uh, even though they have doubts about it, they're not going to get rid of that. That's not going to go anywhere. So at some point, they're going to need to act on it, and they will initiate that contact. All right. So I hope that has been useful for you, uh, for those of you who've chosen um, to, uh, to participate in this reading. And I thank you all for passing by and um, for um, subscribing and for commenting and for liking. And uh, I wish you all very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.